Wellington's ride yields two command points, while an ADC gets another. The French aren't able to move their cavalry here at QB. Over at Ligny, lots of French command, and the Prussians have consolidated most of their points for the first corps here. Whereas they are going to continue to consolidate the third corps. In the trip draw, the French will have the advantage. So, of course, they will draw first. I'll start out with a charge. The idea is to try to run down those guns and uh, ammunition wagon that we're trying to escape. They route both of them and destroy each. They move steadily at uh, Quatre Bras now that much of the corps is in command. The 6th Division is able to cut off the road there to the west. While at Ligny, the 4th Corps is trying to move in force across the stream while 3rd continues its fight. Uh, artillery fire pushes back some units at the uh, QB as well as infantry fire at Ligny causing cascade retreats in both places. The assault phase, only one at the QB. The militia fail their morale check and retreat. Over at Lenny, we have two attacks. One results in a melee and then a retreat, and the other results in some casualties but no retreats. Oh, and then content, the French continue to go after those Prussian guns with varying degrees of success. One is taken, the other, the French fall back. The next chip draws are artillery and then the Allies have their chance to move. They are going to start with a charge as the Prussians are going to try to drive back that French infantry. And they're going to have pretty good success. They're going to drive back uh, both those battalions back, one disordered and the other will be plus con disordered. And they will retreat. The rest of the movement and fire combat is fairly benign. The uh, Anglo-Allied end up in these positions. And in Ligny, we see really the results of um, the routes after the failure to rally at the end of the turn. And the 10th Corps, or 10th Brigade, continues to consolidate there in the 3rd Corps. The remaining chip balls are going to be action chits. We'll see a little bit of movement for the um, leaders. No reinforcements this turn. And the regroup will slightly reposition. We'll see the uh, French desperately try to catch forward their light cavalry. And similarly, the Prussians are going to attempt to move forward their light cavalry up um, on the right side there. Start the command phase of 1540, and Wellington is able to activate three units, usual suspects for the French. On the Ligny field, we see the 5th Corps, or 5th Brigade of the 2nd Corps is going to move for the Prussians, and for the most part the French are moving who they've been usually moving. The Allies draw first. It's going to be a fairly quiet turn, just maneuver. The Brunswickers are able to move forward but not engage. And on the Lenny field, largely we're just moving up to get into position, moving that fifth that fifth brigade closer, but not really any real um, outcomes to this half of the turn. The French then draw their chit. They're going to push forward, but not really make great progress. Their biggest uh, advantage is that they're going to block the road there in the west, whereas here at Ligny, the 4th Corps continues to try to surge across the stream, while the 3rd Corps is launching a bunch of assaults. The one assault here at Quatre Bras uh, results in a failed to stand. Here at Ligny, we're going to see a numerous failed to stands, as well as a couple of casualties and advances for the French. But in large part, the Prussians are retreating in each case. Oops, can't do that. 
that guy can't roll the close because he was out of command. So we'll finish off with this last attack here. The uh, French are going to take out some more guns and occupy that uh, hex. So at the end of the French turn, they will hold the current positions and largely made a little bit of progress. The remainder of the action chits will now be pulled. Uh, with minor movements, um, no artilleries because there is still no uh, ammunition for that howitzer battery. But the reinforcements, the third division for the British arrived, but they are stopped there at the bridge, blocked by the French. A little bit of move movement by the leaders, largely just repositioning for command. And then we'd come to the end of the turn. The one thing that occurred was a morale level was uh, breached by the Dutch Belgians having lost two battalions. These are the final positions. The French blocking the road and that 2nd Corps Cavalry Division is still waiting to move. Whereas at Ligny, that 5th Brigade is starting to make its presence known, but the Brush Prussians are still holding on. Near Quatre Bras, really the biggest development was the French 6th Division getting astride the road here to the west and more or less trying to block the arrival of the British reinforcements. I know it's a silly gamey move, but that is their biggest uh, effort at this point. That's going to cost them because they're going to be leaving half the division out of command. The rest of the division is in the, in the other brigade essentially is over here looking at trying to oppose the British north of the road. They have a good gun line here that have managed to sweep away some of the skirmishers. Now we're going to try to uh, continue to blast away and hopefully make some progress at that crossroads. Now that the 5th Division has a new leader, they should be able to get moving again. Probably going to take some serious casualties against those uh, strong British muskets, but um, that's their best bet and that's their job. The French cavalry has been idle for some time. The choice has been to try to let them use initiative rather than a spending a command point, and they just haven't gotten any initiative. So there's two full turns. Being really a very strong formation has not been making their, their presence felt. So probably will be a priority to get them moving this turn. Speaking of strong formations, the light cavalry of the guard is still just sitting here. Not moving, not engaged, not even trying. Here at Ligny, the grind has really begun in earnest. The Prussian First Corps is starting to take some real casualties, morale checks, uh, resulting from fire combat has cost a lot of units in retreat. Haven't gotten up them to a morale level yet, but still a lot of uh, open ground there on their right flank. Also, the melees have been favoring the French as they've been able to eject a number of uh, Prussian battalions from their locations in the towns. The French have been very dogged in trying to dislodge that Russian artillery, now they're down to one battery, but uh, that's taken a real toll on the French attackers. The fourth corps here is basically just trying to smash their way across the brook, beat up, and hopefully draw in some reinforcements. Whereas the Prussians have started to commit the second corps as the 5th Brigade is going to try to get astride that flank and hopefully stabilize it, if not uh, push back and gain some ground. Way to the east, well here at Lini itself, they've been unscathed, no, no direct attacks on it, as the uh, focus has been to the west of the town. But to the far east, still pretty quiet here. The French cavalry is in a screening position, and the Prussians, 3rd Corps is just sort of hanging out here waiting to 
really waiting to take advantage of, hopefully, a breakdown in the French fourth corps. And speaking of losses to the Prussian artillery, see a whole lot of batteries have been destroyed. That's in air quotes. Since there's four of the same type, the same caliber, if you, if you will, uh, we'll be able to recall or re, uh, rejoin one of those batteries to the first core this turn. Two, the other two, will be destroyed permanently. Let's talk some strategy here at Quatre Bras. Now the French really need to get astride the road to the east. But for better or for worse, their opportunities have been in the west, so they've been pushing very hard there. They've busted up the second Belgian, Dutch Belgian division. Much of it is either routed or far out of the fight. They're pulling some reinforcements to this side, to the west of the um, crossroads. But it seems unlikely they're going to be able to make a real gain there, where they really need to make their presence felt is here to the east. They need to get astride and cut off and possibly even um, exit at least one division onto the Lenny field, you know, down the road towards Lenny. So that'll be the focus of the next hour at least, I think, for the French, to get the 5th Division moving, to continue to pound with that artillery, and hopefully uh, break up and dislodge the British line there along the road. For the British, well, well, what can you say? They just have to hold on. Their strength right now is on the west, you know, to the uh, left here of the crossroads. Those are the British brigades. It's kind of a rat's nest of units just trying to form up. The Brunswickers are still arriving. Uh, not much left of the second Dutch Belgian. And now that the 3rd Division is arriving here, they're kind of in a tough spot because they really are kind of blocked. So they have to be fighting their way across that bridge and across the stream to try to gain uh, access to really the rest of the army. So that's really the only plan for the British side. Hold on and wait for reinforcements. Here at Ligny, the French basically are concentrating their attack right here at this little elbow or V. The main reason for that is it enables Napoleon to keep two full corps activated and moving, you know, very economically. That's kind of the main reason for not going at Ligny itself, coupled with the fact that it's a very hard fight getting across um, that river and through that town uh, tends to take a long time, I think, and cost a lot uh, in terms of men and command to keep uh, the fight going. So the French are basically pushing the 4th Corps here, trying to get up into this area. They've been going very hard at the Prussian artillery and have largely eliminated it. And the 3rd Corps, along with the 7th Division, is trying to get across the towns. Now, it was pointed out to me, this really means the French are not going to have a lot of artillery support. Artillery can only cross the stream at bridges. There are no bridges here. The only bridges to be found here, uh, or on this side, are at Lenny itself. There are bridges here and here. I think one more is up here. And that's the best chance the French have for getting across the stream and then getting their artillery deployed. But assuming they can grind up enough of the Prussians. The other part of the plan is to have Napoleon, wherever he is, here he is. He has an ADC, this colonel. He will be dispatched with an order to Recall the first corps, and he's probably going to get started this turn. He has to move from Napoleon there and exit the map 
right here. You know, the quattro bra is up there, so basically he's going to try to intercept the first core that's somewhere over in this area and relay the order to divert to Lenny. That should bring him in on the western flank of the Prussians and possibly be the killing blow for the French attack. If not, they still have the full Imperial Guard here. And they could be this, well, I hate to call them secondary, but the last gasp to bust through and break up the Prussian army. Now on the Prussian side, they have the huge Second Corps sitting back here in reserve. A part of it has been committed. The 5th Brigade is going to help the 1st Corps around the towns. Since the 1st Corps is kind of rapidly breaking up at this point, taking quite a few losses, it's looking like the 2nd Corps is going to be committed here pretty soon. Um, they're not going to, probably not going to be using an offensive role per se. They're probably going to go ahead and fly right into the teeth of the French attack and just try to blunt it. So their best hope, I think, is to really just take the sting out of the French and uh, slow them up enough that they're not able to get too much further behind the stream. That's not really their only option. They also have the third corps over here on the eastern flank. It's a sizable infantry force, not a lot of cavalry, a little bit, not very good cavalry, but right now faced only by the cavalry screen of the French. So they may be able to do more than faint. They may be able to push right down this road here, get a beyond that French cavalry, hopefully bust them up, and drive for, you know, the, the French rear area there. Now that's not easy. This is not a great formation. It's uh, large, but pretty brittle. A lot of land there, which um, we've already seen, uh, does not hold up well. And as soon as they start to retreat, that cascade effect can be pretty devastating and denude an area of forces much quicker than, than would be expected normally. 